Wait, what is he doing? Um, do we really need to stick his head right in there? This baby has snot. Let's see what we need. Um, I never want to become a mother. Okay, this guy has filled his stomach and now... Wait, he's been drinking from the cat's water bottle this whole time? Now we will need to shave off this gorgeous beard. This guy looks very manly with her. Well, bye-bye, hairs. Hope you grow back soon. I hope this guy stops eating his hair after this. How did they even get on his plate? I think this picture will answer your question. Well, now I understand why all McDonald's workers wear these funny fishnet hats. Hello, everyone, friends, and... No, not that. Favorite Pomni's game again? Wait, what are we going to do with this poor oyster now? Are we really going to break it to make a mermaid bra? It appears that this is the case. Well, now we need to get this tongue, or what is it? This is definitely something that won't keep this oyster alive. Well, after all, it was the mermaid who asked us for help, not the oyster. So we had to do it. Look, this idiot put gum in his hair. I don't know how much of an idiot you have to be to do this. Okay, let's help him too. And he also has some strange green things stuck in his head. Well, let's get them too. What is this anyway? It's like Brussels sprouts or something. How could this even get into his head? I can't even imagine how it ended up in his head, but it's definitely unnatural. Okay, the most important thing is that we managed to help him. Wait, what is he doing? Um, do we really need to stick his head right in there? What was his ultimate goal? Does he want to find something inside this ostrich? I don't understand anything, but let's assume that this is how it should be. Two ostriches turned into... camels? Okay, I'm not surprised by anything in this game anymore. This baby has snot! Let's see what we need! Suck the snot out of his nose? Um, I never want to become a mother. It seems to me that there are many other less disgusting methods in the world to free the nose. Why should we even help her? She can't do it herself? I think this is one of the most disgusting duties of a mother. Snot in your nose? Ugh, this is very disgusting. Why does his snot look like giant germs? And why are they sad? It seems to me that they will be much more comfortable in the mouth than in the baby's nose. Okay, last microbe left. I hope she spits it all out of her mouth. I wouldn't like to think about her swallowing it. Great, she didn't swallow the snot. Well, it's not as bad as we thought. Okay, now let's help this guy with Mentos and Coke. This guy drank cola, and we need to get Mentos in his mouth? Oh my god, I'm even scared to imagine the explosion that will happen in his stomach. Why do Mentos look like regular candy? Okay, I guess it's not that important. Well, let's push these candies into his stomach and see what happens. They stick to each other and to the walls of his esophagus, making them a little difficult to push through. Okay, one of the candies is almost there. Let's try to push the second one so that they fall down at the same time. Great, we're almost there. All we have to do is put in a little effort and we will finally see this fountain from his mouth. They are stuck at the very bottom. Damn, why is this so hard? Is this really how everything happens in our stomach? It seems to me that no one swallows such sweets whole. They are usually dissolved or chewed in the mouth. Okay, we did it. Wow, just look how much everything started to foam and rise up. Does he vomit rainbows? Maybe it's because we used other candies instead of Mentos? Okay, it doesn't matter. Let's help them do... Um, what are they even doing? The level is called fusion. Perhaps they will touch their fingers and turn into some kind of super mega cyber robot or something like that. Okay, the first two fingers are connected. Last pair of fingers left. Why fingers? It doesn't just look weird, it actually sounds weird. Did they touch fingers to become a dog girl? Okay, I hope there will be a little more logic in the next level. We need to lap up some strange liquid from the bowl. No, Kingler, there will be no logic in this level either. I think we should just come to terms with the lack of logic in this game. Why does he have such a giant tongue? Is this even a person or an anteater? And why does he lap from the bowl and not drink? And why does he need our help at all? I have too many questions. It seems to me that in the previous games we played there were strange animals. But in this game, there are very strange people. Yes, it does look quite strange. What's going on in this guy's head? He's really weird. I completely agree with you. Okay, this guy has filled his stomach and now... Wait, he's been drinking from the cat's water bottle this whole time? Oh my god, this guy is really an idiot. He just doesn't say that. Now we will need to shave off this gorgeous beard. This guy looks very manly with her. Looks like that's exactly what we'll have to do. Wait, why do we need to shave off his eyebrows? Um, should we make him completely bald? Judging by the expression on this guy's face, he himself is not happy with his future hairstyle. Well, buddy, nothing personal. We're just doing what we're asked to do. I think it would be great to leave it that way, but that would mean we wouldn't finish the game. Well, bye-bye, hairs. Hope you grow back soon. 
I think we found where this guy's hair went. This idiot's food is going straight to his plate. No, this hair is a different color and quite long. Ugh, oh my god. I think this is the most disgusting feeling possible. This hair went straight to his stomach. I can imagine how disgusting he feels when we take them out. Okay, we've dealt with one of them. It's quite difficult, actually. I hope this guy stops eating his hair after this. How did they even get on his plate? I think this picture will answer your question. Well, now I understand why all McDonald's workers wear these funny fishnet hats. How good it is that they do this. Just look, this guy was bitten by a mouse, although it might be a rat. Mice don't have such gigantic teeth, and mice themselves don't bite. No, it's definitely a mouse. Rats don't have such short tails. I'm really wondering why she decided to bite him. Maybe they have some personal grievances against each other? This task reminds me of something. In some game, we already helped a chicken lay eggs. Why do they all have something inside them other than eggs? This is very disgusting. Let's get this abomination out of here first, and then help this chicken get her eggs out. I hope we can do this carefully and not break anything. Oh my god, do these eggs stick to the intestines too? I think it will be very difficult to get them. By the way, when I looked at these eggs, I wanted bacon and eggs. Are you guys hungry? Bubble, are you serious? There's a huge brown poop lying next to this chicken. Have you got an appetite? I think you have some real problems, buddy. Yeah, I think Pomni and Bubble should play this game together. I'd rather play Valorant or something like that. I think it would be much cooler. Yes, I think we could shoot noobs now, rather than pull eggs out of a chicken's butt. Well, hopefully we'll get through this level quickly, and the next level will be really interesting. Great, that was the last egg. I hope this chicken is happy now. Okay, now this guy found some water in the desert. Um, what does he need help with? This is... Oh, okay. Someone pooped in this bubble tea and put cockroaches in it. Okay, let's get them. Maybe you shouldn't do this with a straw? I don't think it would be very hygienic. In principle, drinking this water is already an abomination. But I think that he has no other options in the desert. Okay, all that's left is to get the last poop and... Yes, we got it. Great, now this guy won't die of thirst. Well, now we need to help the guy who got pooped on by a bird. Wait, are we sure we need to help the guy? Um, no, we need to help this bird. Well, okay, let's help this bird. Um, poop? As far as I know, birds have the easiest digestion. I don't understand why this bird can't poop on its own. Does she have any problems? Okay, the main thing is that we can help her. Cool, she pooped. Well, now this bird is free, but the guy is definitely in trouble. I think this is the worst place for a bird to poop. I would vomit instantly. Do we need to feed this cool chicken? Okay, wait, what? Did he eat nuggets? What is this, a cannibal chicken? Hey bro, you shouldn't eat chicken. You should be eating grains or something like that. Hmm, I have a lot of questions about this game. Here, every level is as strange as possible. Either mice that bite or birds that poop in man's mouths, ostriches that stick their heads in their butts. This game is truly one of the strangest. No, this game is the strangest of all that I have played. I have. Are we now actually taking a chicken apart and trying to pull it out of another chicken? No, this is too much even for me. Let's skip this level and play the next one. Wow, I didn't think you had boundaries. Help, well, please. it's good that we didn't play that disgusting level. Oh, here we need to help the guy put some drops in his eyes. Great, let's help him. Um, is this glue? God, no, this game is too cool. This guy could be blind forever. Guys, never do what you see here. You may be left without vision. Did you specifically pour him a heaping amount of glue so that he would definitely have no chance of losing his sight? This is very cruel, I think. I'm already tired of playing it, but since someone likes it, then we will do it. Oh my god, are we gonna have to watch someone have poop pulled out of them for half an hour again? Damn, now we're taking porcupine quills out of his ass. Oh my god, there's pus in there. Okay, that's the last one left. It seems to me that it is necessary to disinfect his wound. Great, we've completed this level. I hope there's something even more disgusting ahead. I think it's very strange that you like what you do in this game. I think you need to get your head checked. Okay, let's see what awaits us next. Um, just plant a tree? Okay, it doesn't look so gross. I could play levels like this all day long. It is better to plant trees than to remove all sorts of abomination from the human body. That's for sure. I completely agree with Kane. It looks very nice and is very good for the environment. And I like nasty levels. It's a lot of fun to squeeze pimples and stuff like that. Haven't you ever watched a video where people squeeze out pimples or clean their ears with a thing with a camera? Um, it seems to me that if you purposefully watch such content on the internet, you have some problems with your head. You should definitely consult your doctor. I do this very rarely, but now I want to agree with Kingler. 
This game is 90% crap that no normal person should like. Everyone has their own tastes. I think you shouldn't judge a person by looking at his favorite game. Only if it's not Genshin Impact. This game has no normal fans. Haha, <laughs> yes I agree. The fans of this game are very strange. Especially those who do cosplay. I don't understand them at all. Great, in the meantime we've completed this level. Wait, what? Oh no, he planted this tree on his father's grave. It is very sad. I hope this guy is happy now. What else awaits us next? Replacement of E? Okay, this doesn't look as gross as it might seem. Yes, this is practically a medical benefit. So if anyone from our viewers wants to become a doctor, look at it more carefully. I can't do it right. Damn, this IV is uncontrollable. It's good that this happens in the game and not in real life. Otherwise, the patient would begin to doubt my competence. Yeah, you definitely shouldn't be a doctor. If a patient saw how you handle an IV, he definitely wouldn't be treated by you. Um, did we really just pump this guy full of steroids? Hmm. I thought we were just helping to do some medical stuff or something like that. Using steroids is very harmful. A beautiful body is not worth damaged health. Wow, now we're just making him some Chinese noodles. There are fewer and fewer nasty levels in this game. I'm getting bored because of this. Ugh, the contents of this packet don't look like seasoning or sauce. It doesn't look appetizing at all. Usually these noodles are tasty, but I wouldn't try this one. It definitely doesn't look like tasty food, but since we've been asked to help with it, we'll do it. It's good that this is not a nasty thing like pulling worms out of your stomach or something like that. Now we need to help remove the damaged tooth from this guy's mouth. Okay, I guess this shouldn't be a difficult task. Although in real life it is really difficult and requires a lot of effort. Okay, now we need to help the little kangaroo hide from the wolf. Finally, the tasks in this game have become more enjoyable. I definitely won't miss the moments where you have to do all sorts of nasty things. But I would like to squeeze out a few more pimples or remove needles from the body. It calms me. Well, we'll make this guy a burger instead. I think this task is calming for me because I love burgers. By the way, guys, what is your favorite food? My favorite food is definitely pizza. The delicious crust, savory sauce, and tasty toppings all come together in a perfect harmony of flavor and texture, creating the ultimate comfort food. It's one of those dishes that's so simple in its ingredients, but yet so complex in the way the flavors work together. Plus, it's so convenient and versatile, making it the perfect meal no matter the occasion. I would have to agree, pizza is probably my favorite food as well. It's such a well-rounded dish that you can pretty much find it anywhere you go, and there's so many different flavors and toppings to choose from. Plus, it's so satisfying watching the cheese melt into a delicious, gooey mess. What is your favorite type of pizza? It's certainly hard to beat a classic pepperoni pizza with its savory pepperoni and rich, gooey cheese. But I have a soft spot for Hawaiian pizza as well. The combination of the sweet and tangy pineapple with the saltiness of the ham and pepperoni is a delicious mix of flavors that complement each other perfectly. Also, it's just hard to resist the smell of fresh, juicy pineapple. What about you, Jax? What's your favorite type of pizza? Hawaiian is definitely up there for me. It's hard to beat that combination of savory ham, sweet and tangy pineapple, and juicy tomatoes. But I also love the classic meat lover's style. The hearty, meaty flavor of the sausage, bacon, and pepperoni is absolutely delicious. And I always love the smoky sweet taste of grilled chicken and spinach on a pizza as well. Really, is there a bad type of pizza? Okay, let's finally stop discussing food because I'm already drooling from hunger. Let's better help this tree and throw all the caterpillars off it. Yeah, it's probably for the best that we stop talking about food. Otherwise, we'll never get done with this task. Besides, we don't want to get the whole world salivating over pizza, do we? So let's focus on saving this tree and throw those pesky caterpillars right off. Caterpillars really irritate me because they are constantly parasitic. Some of them are even poisonous, and because of this, any caterpillars are scary to handle. But then they become beautiful butterflies that fly and pollinate flowers. Yeah, you're right. Caterpillars can definitely be irritating and often carry poison or infectious diseases that make them an unpleasant hassle to deal with. But the upside is that they do eventually turn into butterflies, which are absolutely beautiful creatures who play a crucial role in our ecosystem by pollinating flowers and feeding off nectar. So even though they can be a pain now, 
it's important to remember that these caterpillars will eventually become essential and beneficial butterflies later on. Great. We don't have long to complete this level. I really like that the vibe in the game has changed, and now we just help everyone with good deeds. Now we will help this guy with a broken pipe, instead of doing some nasty things. Yes, it's certainly a refreshing change of pace to be helping others instead of being so violently brutal like we've been previously. Now we just need to clear up this block pipe, and then we'll have another level complete already. Let's get to it. Great, we did it. I hope this pipe doesn't bother this guy anymore. He looks very happy after the fix. Okay, now let's shuck this corn. We're making great time on this map. That pipe issue was solved in no time, and now all we need to do is shuck some corn? This level is a breeze, and before long, we'll be moving on to the next one. Let's get these kernels out of their husks and bring some sweet corn goodness to that happy fellow to complete this level. Well, now we have to crack this nut. By the way, this nut is called macadamia, and it opens with a special key. This is the only nut that requires a key. These nuts are very tasty and expensive because they are very sweet and tender. Ah, I figured there must have been something special about this macadamia nut, since it required a key to open. Macadamias are indeed a delicious type of nut with their sweet and tender flavor and crunchy outer shell. And it's no wonder they're so expensive given how precious and hard to open they are. Still, the last level is pretty disgusting. The creators of the game wanted the vibe of this game to be remembered by everyone for a long time. Well, cleaning out a whale's intestines is a pretty nasty task. I wouldn't want to do this. Okay, we got it done. This was the last level in this game, and now you can move on to the second, more vile game. Here you immediately need to remove maggots from the cat's nostrils. Oh, what could be more beautiful? Oh dear. This next game sounds absolutely horrifying. We've gone from helping people to fighting off parasitic insects that are infestation-poor, innocent animals. I suppose that's just how these games go. But I can't say I'm looking forward to this next one. Let's just get this nasty job done quickly and efficiently and move on to something hopefully a bit more pleasant. Oh my god. I can't believe we're actually taking poop out of a cat's ass right now. This is one of the most disgusting things you can do in games. The creator of this game is just a sick bastard. Well, let's see what we need to do now. Okay. These guys are holding a bottle of Coca-Cola. Looks like they want to make a fountain using Coca-Cola and Mentos. Oh boy, I think I know what's gonna happen here. The classic Mentos and Coke experiment is a famous one, known for bringing quite the explosive and exciting result. The combination of these two familiar ingredients creates a powerful and entertaining reaction that can't be matched. Let's see how far these guys take this and try to get ready for some big sparks and loud bangs. Okay, we threw Mentos in there, but I can't say that something very explosive and cool happened. More likely, it's just a small Coca-Cola fountain. Are we going to help someone poop again? Damn, when will this end? I really want to finish this game as quickly as possible so that I don't have to look at someone's poop and pimples for half an hour straight again. But now, there is nothing like that on the screen. They just make coffee here. Kane, you may have missed the beginning, but this is coffee made from some animal's poop. Coffee made from poop? In the ordinary world, was it prohibited to sell ordinary coffee in stores? Why does he need coffee made from poop? There are too many questions about this game. I think it's better to just do what the task asks and that's it. The logic of actions in this game is beyond our mind. Great! Your poop coffee is ready. Let's see what we have to do next. Oh, no. Does this guy have maggots in his butt? What did you have to do to make such thick worms settle in your buttocks? Oh my god! I can't look at them. They move too disgustingly. Maybe we can do something to make everything in this game not so disgusting? Yes, I think the best option would be to turn off the damn game. So we definitely won't see the abomination that is happening here. Oh my god, there are still a huge number of little worms here. Apparently large worms got into the pores of his skin and began to multiply. I'm going to be sick. It seems to me that they should have administered some kind of medication before taking them out. These maggots lay eggs under the skin and after a while there will simply be more of them. Yes, they could also carry some kind of infection on their body. And if the skin is not disinfected, then this infection can begin to spread through the blood. Guys, stop being such bores. I've already completed this level with maggots. Now we will have a huge bear next in line. I wonder how he should be helped. Apparently, here we need to help not the bear, but the fish to get out of its body through the butt. 
Did this bear not chew this fish at all? It looks like he was in a hurry to eat this fish. I hope his body doesn't go crazy because his stomach has turned into an aquarium from which these sardines escaped. Usually it works a little differently. Even if he swallowed food without chewing, he would still digest it in his stomach. Okay, we're kind of done with this next stupid task. Wait, seriously? Is the bear dead? This is what happens when you eat food without chewing. Okay, now we see some young couple. What are they going to do? Um, seriously? So, okay, I won't comment on that. Some kind of syringe with frog tadpoles? But why were they placed in a syringe and where are they placed? I do not understand. This is good. You are still too young to understand this. Let's take a better look at what the next task looks like. We are giving an injection to some young man. Okay, it's not so gross anymore. This is more like a visual aid for novice doctors. Uh, wait, where did her mole go? Okay, it does not matter. Okay, now we have a task with a sleeping man. We need to make this guy bald. Okay, this is a very easy task. The main thing is that he doesn't wake up in the middle of the process. All is ready. Okay, this time it wasn't no, gross. dude! Finally. Like this, instead of taking worms out of your ass or boogers out of your nose. My most vile and disgusting game experience probably happened when I was playing a game called Cannibal Crossing New Flesh Town. It's a very disturbing and gruesome game where you play as a cannibal who lives in a small town, and your task is to hunt down unsuspecting, unsuspecting humans and consume them. This game is very vile and disgusting, and it shows you some really disturbing and gruesome scenes. I was completely appalled and disgusted by this game, and I've never played it again. Outlast is a most disgusting survival horror game set in a secluded asylum. During the gameplay, you have to explore the asylum, collecting items and solving puzzles, while trying to avoid the insane patients who are roaming around looking for you. The game has some really disturbing visuals, with a lot of gore and gruesome scenes. Some of the things I found disgusting included dead and decaying bodies, mutilated corpses, piles of guts and intestines, blood and gore everywhere, and a ton of gore and violence. As a scaredy cat, I was pretty traumatized by all the grotesque imagery. No, I think Scorn is a most disgusting survival horror adventure game set in an alien world. The gameplay is very disturbing and dark, with a lot of gore and disgusting visuals. The game features a lot of gruesome scenes, consisting of strange, fleshy organisms, with a lot of body horror such as body transformations, mutilation, rotting corpses, etc. Some of the things in this game that I found disgusting included dismembered limbs, guts, blood everywhere, body horror, a really dark and gritty atmosphere, and twisted creatures. One time I was playing Scorn and I was walking through a dark, eerie corridor. I was feeling pretty on edge already because of the darkness and the eerie atmosphere, and then suddenly I spotted a really gross, slimy, disgusting creature crawling up the wall towards me. I got a shock and instinctively jumped it back in real life, which made me laugh because I was so startled. It was just so unexpected and unpleasant, but after I recovered from the shock, I found it kind of funny. Guys, you yourself play vile games, and you judge me for playing this cute, harmless children's game. A cute, harmless children's game? Do you even realize that you just helped a cow give birth to a calf? I wouldn't call it harmless, but it doesn't make any sense. In general, by its nature, a cow itself is capable of giving birth without any outside help. This game makes absolutely no sense. Yes, I completely agree with Kane. In games like Scorn and other equally vile games, at least there is some kind of plot. And here all we do is squeeze pimples, take out poop, pick our noses, and sometimes this is diluted with something like a slide ride. By the way, I still can't figure out what the water slide level is doing here. Like, if people really can't go down it themselves and ask for help with this? This is very, very stupid. If I wanted to play some water park game, I would play Wet and Wild from Roblox. It's a really fun and immersive game that combines the fun of swimming and water slides with the adventure and exploration of the amusement park. You can explore the park, find hidden secrets, go on rides, hang out at the pool, and even collect some coins. The game also has realistic physics and graphics that really make it feel like you're in a real-life water park. Definitely a fun game that I recommend and you try. Yes, I would also like to play something like this. And instead of these games, we play a game where you need to remove worms from the cat's intestines. It looks extremely creepy. I think this cat should have been given some kind of medication or something rather than just having those worms pulled out of him. This looks extremely dangerous. Okay, the cat is healthy now. 
It makes me happy that he won't have to suffer anymore. I hope the next level will be less disgusting than this one. My face is already green from the concentration of abomination in this game. Taking out carrots? Okay, this looks much lighter than everything that came before. I think that's where we'll finish playing this game today. I've had enough of the nastiness today. You guys are too boring. I, I really like this game and many of our subscribers do too. Guys, write about it in the comments. It's good that it doesn't start with pulling poop out of people or something like that. Yeah, so far this game looks pretty harmless. It's like we're just playing basketball and that's it. Is there really no maggots or squeezing out pimples at the very beginning? I think I'm in heaven! It's hard for me to believe this too. Didn't this game start out abominable? Okay, let's see what it is ahead. Just pulling out a carrot? Great, it seems to me that the creators of these games have woken up to common sense. Okay, let's help this bunny with a carrot. Jax, is this your friend or bunny by any chance? Oh, sorry, buddy. I forgot that it's a hare and not a rabbit. You just almost made a huge mistake, Bubble. It's good that you managed to correct yourself in time. Great, we helped this rabbit. He looks a little crazy. Okay, let's see what awaits us ahead. We need to help this squirrel get the nut out of the ice. Okay, this is a logic task. It is quite simple. All you needed was for the sun to shine on it. Okay, let's do the following. It was pretty easy. Is it just me? Or are all the animals in this game a little crazy? Okay, let's quickly look at the next task. Special level? It looks interesting, but I don't want to watch commercials and give our editor extra work, so we'll skip it. Would you really be interested in watching a dog inject a cat? I think you should really stop playing these games. There's nothing wrong with this for now. We just caught some Pokemon that looked like a caterpillar in a Pokeball. Okay, these tasks really look adequate so far, but I have a feeling that some nasty nonsense awaits us next. Well, let's see what task will be next. Is this the same bonus task? Lord, not this. Oh, we need to give this cat an injection. Okay, let's do this. Perhaps this cat is sick and we need to cure him. Yep, we're going to have to give this cat an injection with this syringe. It seems like he may be sick, and this is the only way we can help him. Okay, we helped this cat, and now he and the dog are fighting with syringes. Okay, this task is pretty stupid. I hope the next task will be more adequate. Okay, we need to feed the dog some watermelon. Yeah, a lot of the tasks seem pretty silly and meaningless. The game is supposed to be a puzzle game, but these quests just feel very bizarre and out of place. I hope the next task is more engaging and challenging. Are we really cutting up watermelon to feed the dog now? Oh my god, I'm 24 years old, what do I do? Are you at all surprised by the fact that your dog eats watermelon? They seem to be eating something else. Yeah, we really are feeding our dog watermelon now. I'm actually very surprised that he's willing to eat this fruit. I never would have thought that a dog could eat watermelon. But hey, if he likes it, then who are we to stop him? Okay, now we are recreating the skeleton of some animal. These tasks are no longer disgusting, but they are not even difficult. We spend no more than 10 seconds on each task. Maybe they'll let us do something more complicated. Yeah, these tasks have been pretty easy so far. I hope they will ramp up the difficulty soon. I feel like the game has become much easier and simpler in its last stage. We're no longer facing any real challenges or obstacles, just doing random quests that we can easily complete in a few seconds. Like, okay, we just helped a caterpillar turn into a butterfly. Perhaps there was some sacred meaning hidden here, but for me it was just one drag and drop with the mouse. This game is getting as boring as possible. Yeah, these tasks are definitely getting pretty tedious and boring now. I guess we're just completing these pointless quests one after another just to get to the ending of the game. The challenge has been completely removed and we don't even feel like we're playing a proper puzzle game anymore. I'm even ready to see some kind of abomination. This will give me at least some emotion other than what helping the penguins down the slide gives me. Okay, what do we have next? Help a snail get out of its shell? Guys, maybe you can come up with something more complicated? We're still just helping these animals with their minor problems. It's getting pretty frustrating at this point. Is this how the game is going to end? Just with us continuing to complete these simple tasks and help these animals with their everyday needs? Okay guys, we just sit here and insult this game, but don't offer anything ourselves. Maybe you can describe your dream game? You're right, it's easy to criticize the game, but it's a bit harder to come up with a better one. But I'm guessing many gamers have their own ideas about what they'd like to see in a game. For me, my dream game would have a good balance of challenge and fun. 
I'd want it to be challenging and engaging, but also keep me curious and interested with its story and gameplay. It's important to have a satisfying progression and a satisfying ending in a game to keep the player motivated and interested. Can you describe the gameplay of your game in more detail? Name its genre, aspects of the plot, the meaning of the game, and its difference from others. Sure, my dream game would actually be a survival horror game. I would want it to be terrifying, but also have elements of strategy and action. As for the plot, I'd want it to have an interesting and engaging story that keeps players hooked. In terms of setting, I'd prefer it to be set in a dark and eerie atmosphere. It's also important for the game to have a unique and impactful ending that leaves players feeling satisfied and thrilled. Additionally, I would like it to be different from other horror games by incorporating more advanced elements such as AI and multiplayer experiences. Horror game with artificial intelligence? It sounds like there might be some concern that AI zombies might gain their minds online and find a cure for their zombie virus. Yeah, the idea of zombies that can think and plan ahead definitely adds an extra element of terror to the game. If these zombies are intelligent enough to develop a cure for themselves, that means they are also intelligent enough to hunt us down and destroy us. We would be completely defenseless against them and could very quickly become their next victims. The idea of sentient zombies sounds pretty creepy, but I would like to play a game like this. What can I say? I would like to play any game now except this one. I think I'm getting stupid playing this. Yeah, it's always fun and exciting to explore new games and experience their unique stories and gameplay mechanics. If the developers created a game like this with sentient zombies, that would definitely be a horrifying and challenging experience. But it's definitely not an easy task creating such a game, especially when it comes to balancing the terror and the intelligence of the zombies. Guys, I think our thinking has gone too far. Let's take a look at what we're currently doing in the game. There's a bear choking on a fish here and we need to help him. You're right. We definitely started getting carried away and speculating too far off. Let's go back to the game and focus on the task at hand. In addition to fish, some worms appeared in his stomach. How could they get there? Oh wow, that's really gross. I guess the bear must have eaten some infected fish that contain those worms. The worms probably made their way into his stomach after he ate them. It looks like we'll have to remove the worms from his stomach to help him. Great, we got it done. I hope this bear will now check the quality of food before eating it. Okay, let's see what task will be next. You need to skip this bonus task. What, shave a sleeping cat? Yeah, it seems like the game has really run out of ideas now. The tasks are becoming increasingly bizarre and irrelevant to the game. Why would we need to shave a sleeping cat? Okay, anyway, we shaved him. I still don't understand why, but now he looks like Tom the cat from the cartoon Tom and Jerry. Well, in the next task, we need to help the cat play golf. I guess we just need to do whatever the game asks of us, no matter how odd it may be. But this is a pretty strange and unexpected task. I'm not sure how shaving the cat will help with his golf game. This cat was no longer bald. However, we completed this task quite quickly. I wonder if we will have to do anything at all in the next task, or will the next level be completed without our participation? Okay, a mother kangaroo has her baby stuck and we need to get it out. It seems like it's actually a pretty simple task, but I worry a bit for the baby's safety. Hopefully we don't accidentally drop him or hurt him somehow while removing him. The baby kangaroo is fine, and we move on. We are again offered this bonus task with a UFO and a cow. I'm interested in what will happen in this task, but I'm not ready to watch a minute of advertising. Okay, now we're feeding the pelican. This lazy bird can't cope on its own? Looks like this pelican cannot cope on his own and has come for some food from us. It's a pretty easy task, but it's clear that we're supposed to be the ones doing all the work here while the pelican just sits there passively. Well, now we need to help the assistant. The elephant volunteered to help the cat wash it, but he can't direct his trunk. So the elephant needs our help to direct his trunk? But why would the cat even need to be washed? Wouldn't it be less work for the elephant to just wash the cat himself? It seems to me that there is no longer any need to look for logic in this game. Every task is filled with absurdity. For example, now we need to help the crocodile bite the cat by the tail. Have you even noticed that they hate cats in this game? They either give them injections, or shave their heads, or wash them, or do something else unpleasant. I do not like it. Yeah, it's really noticeable that the animals in this game do not seem to like cats at all. They're always trying to do something bad to the poor cats, and it's really unnecessary. 
It's like the game developers just wanted to include cute cats in the game, but had no idea how to incorporate them without making them the victims in every task. Now we need to stick the sword into the barrel in which the cat is sitting. I think this is too much. It's time to end this game. Wait, are you serious? What is the essence of the game? Just poop? Well, now, for example, we are helping a poor hen lay eggs that she can't lay. Oh, my God. This game... Weird? No, she's disgusting. Even very disgusting. Are these really eggs? And what is that rainbow thing she has there? What is this anyway? I do not understand anything. It seems to me that this rainbow thing also just needs to be obtained. Like these eggs. Kingler, that rainbow thing is a poop. Do you really like this game that much? Pomni, I vote to stop you from choosing the games we play. And I like this game. Come on, get that egg out of him. Um, did they actually make a game about this process? <laughs> Like sitting on the toilet, pooping, and playing a game on your phone in which you also poop? It's quite strange, don't you think? Guys, at least it's more interesting than the gym simulator Ouch. in Roblox. I think you all agree with this. Yes, that's for sure. It has already become more interesting than escaping from prison. Wait, do we need to kill the mosquito? I already did it, smart guy. Now we need... Wait, does he have a worm in his head? Boy, you've got some serious problems. Wait, now you two are playing this? Damn, this game is really addictive despite its abomination. Okay, now we need... Man, where did you find these three leeches? They are so huge! For what purpose are you interested? Do you want them to stick to you? Are you crazy? Are you stupid? I'm made of plastic. They physically cannot attach themselves to me. I need them for experiments. I won't even ask about your experiments. Let's just move on to the next level. Haha, <laughs> are you already interested in this game? I told you she was cool. No, I'm just wondering how much disgusting crap people can put into it and where. I'm looking at this so as not to repeat it in real life. You're basically a bubble. It seems to me that human problems should not worry you. You should have other precautions like don't fly near sharp objects or avoid strong gusts of wind. Wait, are we really trying to get this burglar's sting between his buns? I don't understand. Is it the wasp that has such a huge sting or the guy's buns are too small? It's kind of weird, but we did it. Okay, the guy is safe. Let's move on to the next level. I'm very interested in what we have to do next. Um, picking this guy's nose? This is very, very strange. I don't understand why this gives me pleasure. Don't you think it's strange that there are too many foreign objects in his nose? What's even weirder is that this cotton swab only has cotton on one of its ends. Who makes such weird cotton buds anyway? No, guys. The weirdest thing is that we have to put all these objects in his mouth. Ugh, this guy is very nasty. Okay, we kind of helped this guy. What awaits us now? Um, the cat who ate the mouse? And what should we do with it? Oh, free the mouse? No, the logic of this game will not allow her to get out just like that. He'll probably puke on her. Oh, okay, no. I was right. Did this idiot drop his phone in the toilet with poop? How can you be so inattentive? The situations in this game are always kind of fantastic. Ugh, he also touched his own poop with his hand. I don't think this phone was worth it. Would you seriously be willing to drown your phone if you just dropped it in the toilet? What if it was an iPhone 15 Pro Max? Would you say, okay, Mr. Toilet, take my phone. I don't need it anymore. No, I wouldn't just drop my phone in the toilet. I'm not as hands-on as he is. As a last resort, I would get him with my tongue, hee hee hee. Ew, Bubble, you're even more disgusting than this game, I'm sure. Damn, I just realized I haven't seen any more disgusting games than this one. No, buddy. <sighs> the most disgusting game I ever played is Scorn. Scorn is a game set in a dark, twisted, and truly disgusting world. The game features a unique aesthetic and atmosphere, with eerie and grotesque imagery depicting a bleak and apocalyptic future. Gameplay centers around surviving a hostile and dangerous environment, fighting off otherworldly creatures and trying to make sense of the dark and disturbing surroundings. The gameplay is full of intense and disturbing moments, with a truly revolting and unsettling vibe that makes this game unique and unforgettable. The level of disgust and intense horror in Scorn is truly unmatched. I just checked some gameplays and it looks really disturbing. I would definitely not play it unless I would want all kinds of nightmares. Indeed, Scorn is a truly disturbing game with an incredibly unsettling vibe. You can feel the uneasiness and fear building up just by watching its gameplay. The game features bizarre and grotesque imagery with a dark and foreboding atmosphere. It's an intense experience, one that's bound to leave a lasting impression. So if you're looking for a truly revolting and disturbing game, 
then Scorn could be exactly what you're looking for. Guys, it scares me that you have already played this game. I think if you choose games like Scorn or this, you definitely have some weird tendencies. The Bubbles' voice even changed while he was telling all this. I think you should stop playing games like this. What should I play? Well, tell me, oh, great expert on all the games in the world. In my opinion, the best kids' games on PC are probably Minecraft, Terraria, Portal 2, Stardew Valley, and the LEGO series. These games all provide a fun and engaging experience for children with colorful and creative environments, simple yet interesting gameplay, and plenty of possibilities for learning and exploration. Are you crazy? I'm 32 years old. What children's games? Maybe I should actually go to the sandbox and stack cubes with pyramids there? I'll play anything, at least in Postal 2. Posted 2? This is the first time I've heard about this game. What should you do with it? And why did the bubble focus on her? Is it more disgusting than all the other games? Playing Postal 2 is definitely an experience. This game has no filter and is as twisted as it gets. The game is filled with dark, violent, and obscene humor. You play as a deranged dude who goes around killing people and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. It's like a simulation of madness and a virtual playground for your darkest urges. If you want to play as a mentally ill murderer and just blow off steam and do crazy things, this is the game for you. One time when I was playing Postal 2, I just finished beating up the local police chief and was making my escape when I realized I needed to take a piss from all the energy drinks I drank. So I went to a public bathroom in the middle of the square, pulled my pants down and started pissing. But as I'm finishing up, a guy walking by outside looks in through the window and makes a disgusted face. I started cracking up and couldn't help the piss shooting out of me as it was too funny. Damn, that's hella funny, haha. Huh? But yeah, that's definitely the kind of absurd and crazy stuff you can experience in Postal 2. It can be downright disgusting and twisted, but at the same time, it's also so utterly ridiculous and hilarious. It's a game that really pushes the boundaries of what is acceptable and conventional, and it certainly doesn't hold back when it comes to shocking and offensive behavior. That's true. It pushes the limits and doesn't hold back when it comes to all kinds of offensive and unacceptable behavior. That's why it's such a great game to play if you want to just let loose and do whatever you want without really caring about the consequences. It's a perfect game for people who want to be as crazy and outrageous as they can be without having to worry about any taboos or restrictions. Your stories about these idiotic games only discouraged me from trying to play them. Maybe we should go back to our horror games and Roblox, don't you think? Let's finish this game first. We need to brush this guy's teeth. It seems to me that he doesn't take care of his oral health at all. Wait, does he have worms living in his mouth? This guy is truly disgusting. What did you have to do with that mouth to get worms between your teeth? Maybe he really eats worms? Damn, the more I try to guess the reason for the worms in his mouth, the more disgusted I feel. Okay, we've almost got his mouth clean. It takes too long, I think. Need to tell this guy to floss. What are those weird brown things between his teeth? It seems to me that he eats the poop of some animals. Because of this, he has worms and strange brown stripes of unknown origin in his mouth. Ah, jeez, Kane. Couldn't you keep these guesses to yourself? It even sounds disgusting. This almost made me puke. I don't want to imagine this ever again in my life. Let's quickly clean his mouth and get this over with. I would like to get over this myself as quickly as possible, but this guy has neglected the cleanliness of his mouth so much that it takes too long. It seems to me that even a professional dentist would do this for a very long time. Hooray. This guy finally has fresh breath. I thought we'd do this until mm. tomorrow. Now let's see what level is next. We're going to pop this guy's pimple. Wait, are they really going to do this with a needle? This should not be done under any circumstances. The needle may not be sterile and may cause an infection under your skin. Damn, it hurts me to even look at this. Does anyone really enjoy this spectacle? This is too much of a hobby. And now he takes out the root of this pimple. At least he did something right. Great, let's move on to the next level. Are we going to make coffee out of poop? This is already beyond the point of absurdity. How could this even be invented? Um, actually, in some countries, they actually make coffee from digested coffee beans. Moreover, this coffee is considered very expensive and truly delicious. The animals that are raised to make this coffee are highly valued. 
Oh my god, is that a giant butt defecating right now? Um, looks like it. The worst part about this is that we need to help him do this. Come on, it's unnatural. <laughs> giant butt pooped. Hooray, the poop fell right into the toilet. It is very funny. I think you've gone a little crazy playing these games. Well, the main thing is that we coped with it. Okay, what awaits us next? Help this cat give birth to kittens? It seems to me that if there was a competition to create the worst manual for feline obstetricians, this game would take first place. This really looks as disgusting as possible. These pimples look pretty funny. They remind me of chocolates or some dinosaur eggs. They are in no way similar to chocolate. It seems to me that this abomination cannot be associated with anything edible at all. It gives me a gag reflex. Okay, milk the cow. It seems to me that this is not as disgusting as it was in previous tasks. Moreover, I really love milk, so this task is quite adequate. Yes, I also really like milk, but when I drink it, I don't want to imagine how it appeared. It's not a pretty sight. Great. The cow is fed up. Now let's move on to the next task. I hope there won't be any nasty spectacle in it again. Wait, do they really want us to rip out the hedgehog's needles? This is not normal. Guys, never do this in real life. These needles are necessary for the hedgehog to live. Without them, they become helpless. Have you regained your sanity? Did you really say something inappropriate while playing this game? I totally agree with her, guys. Never do what we do in this video. You could even go to jail for this. Okay, we're done with this, and now we've left the hedgehog naked. Sorry, Mr. Hedgehog. I hope your needles grow back quickly, and you will be as prickly as before again. Ooh, this task is going to be pretty boring. So, is there really no need to squeeze out pimples or poop? We just need to help this guy make some sculpture. Actually, Bubble, it is the Statue of Liberty. And finally, set up your microphone. He makes a terrible noise. It's unpleasant for me and our viewers to hear this sound, I'm sure. Well, the statue is ready. Take that, Mr. Cat. Now we need to help the cat who dreams of fish. By the way, did you notice that in the last video we only maimed cats? And now we are finally helping them? Yes! Only in this video, for some reason, we have to cripple the poor hedgehog. I still can't get it out of my head. It seems to me that the creators of this game definitely need to undergo treatment from a psychiatrist. This cat is too gluttonous. I think this is too much. Three fish per meal. Maybe this cat should do some exercise. Yeah, for example, a gym simulator in Roblox. It seems to me that this cat will be able to gain enormous mass in it and become the coolest jock in the world. Just look at his huge belly. He definitely needs the gym. Well, now we need to feed another animal with fish, and this time it will be a penguin. Well, okay, let's feed this guy a lot. I think penguins shouldn't eat too much. There are a lot of dangerous predators in their habitat, and therefore it seems to me that extra weight inside the body can significantly affect their mobility. In other words, pot bellies usually don't live very long. Well, this is a fact of life in the animal world. It's always the survival of the fittest. Well, or the fastest, depending on your luck. Feed someone again? It seems to me that these animals have become too lazy, don't you think? My friend, nature has given you a whole mechanism for catching flies, and you want us to help you cope with it? Yeah, this guy definitely has trouble controlling his limbs. It seems to me that he definitely won't be able to catch food on his own, or he needs to hunt drunken or blind flies. Oh my god, this fly stuck right on the tip of my tongue. It's very difficult to control this thing. Maybe he can handle it on his own? I'd like to finally see the next level. Okay, we finally got it over with. Just look at this happy, pot-bellied frog. I hope this food will last her for a long time because we definitely won't help her anymore. Is the hare a clown? He looks exactly like Jax. Does he need help with that pea pod? My friend, I spent my entire childhood in the village. I can handle these things with ease. Finally we have to perform tasks that are not disgusting. I'm already tired of constant pimples and poop. I hope something interesting awaits us ahead too. This guy needed peas to juggle. This is very nice. Well, now let's look at the next task. I hope there won't be any need to torture cats there. These poor animals don't deserve to be treated this way. He just needs help getting the fish. Wait, this fish doesn't look friendly. Oh no, it's a piranha and it bit him. Well, this guy got what he deserved. Don't put your paws into the aquarium. <laughs> this cat is really very stupid. Was he really unable to distinguish a piranha from an ordinary aquarium fish? Now he suffers for his stupidity, and we move on to the next task. Okay, now we'll just take this arrow out of the dog's ass. 
How did he even find an archer in the modern world to shoot him in the ass? This is total bad luck. It seems to me that an arrow is better than a bullet. At least it doesn't get stuck in the body. Okay, now let's fix this guy's bad breath. He should definitely go to the dentist. Stop offering us bonuses. We are real hardcore people. We don't need your help. Okay, I think this guy ate something bad, and now his mouth is full of worms. It seemed to me that this is only possible in corpses or in those who feed on these worms. Well, let's now see what we need to do next. Um, it's some kind of cat with a swollen nose. Well, I hope we don't have to pick out boogers again. Bonuses again. Oh my god, developers. We won't watch ads for some nonsense. Just let us play in peace. Um, these aren't boogers. These are maggots. Oh my god, friend. What did you smell that made them get into your nose? They also managed to multiply, and there were really a lot of them in his nose. God, why couldn't he see a doctor sooner? Until all this abomination multiplied right in his nostrils. Wait, did you just say this is an abomination? Guys, I think the Bubble and Pomni are finally returning to their sanity. It's finally happening. Ugh, my god, is he really sniffing her ass? God, I understand that this is a common, natural phenomenon, but it is too disgusting to be depicted in the game. Now we need to figure out why the cow does not give milk. It looks like some kind of milk icicles have formed in her milk ducts. I think cows should be in a warm place during cold weather. Um, Kane, I may disappoint you, but it seems to me that these are not icicles, but something more vile. These things are somehow very flexible and too white to be icicles. I don't even want to try to guess what it is. Okay. Since you are such sissies, let's not discuss this. The most important thing is that we helped her, and now she can sell her milk to this cat. Well, now we need to help this guy figure out what's stuck in his ear. Oh my god, it seems to me that you need to stick your head underground for a day to achieve such contamination of the ear. There are some larvae, strange stones, and a huge cockroach. I hope it's not alive, otherwise there might be problems getting it out. It seems to me that he cannot be alive. Otherwise, I can't explain why he still hasn't laid larvae in his ear or something like that. It looks pretty gross, and I think this guy should definitely check his ears for foreign objects more often. Oh my god, another injection. Of course, I love this game very much, but it always hurts me when we do this. It looks really scary. I have always been afraid of injections and various sharp objects. This guy coughs really bad. Perhaps he choked on something very heavily. Let's see what's stopping him from breathing. Oh my god, I've heard it called tansalite plugs. These things emit a very nasty smell and really interfere with normal life. Ugh, that was really, really gross. Okay, now let's help this kid with his problem. He definitely has something stuck in his mouth. He just needed help extracting a bad tooth. Well, now this guy can eat candy. True, he will do this until the next bad tooth. He is very lucky that he will still have them replaced with molars. Does this guy need a vertebra back in place? How could he fly so far from the spine? Okay, the most important thing is that we were able to help him. Let's look at the next task. This guy has a plant growing out of his head. I think he definitely has problems. What had to be done to make a sprout grow on your head? How is this even possible? I have too many questions for this game. Now this guy is bald and happy. Well, the main thing is that he is happy. Now we need to get the worms out of this apple. They squirm so disgustingly. This is very disgusting to me. I hope no one is going to eat that apple after this. Worms usually poop immediately after they eat their food. Well, judging by the bite's characteristic of human teeth, someone did eat it. Okay, now let's help this guy fart. Perhaps he was the one who ate this apple. It seems to me that he hardly farts. More like he's peeing, or perhaps sweating. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure what's being depicted here, but we're definitely helping this guy, judging by the sound of the drops. Okay, we helped him get everything he needed out of his body. He lost a lot of weight. I still can't understand what we got out of him, but if this guy is happy, then our mission is accomplished. But I'm absolutely sure that we just pulled worms out of this lady's leg. How they got there is a mystery to us, but it seems to me that in this game we simply have nothing to be surprised by. The main thing is to help people. This game is disgusting. Of course, I understand that this is your favorite game, but what are we doing now? Helping this guy forget his ex-girlfriends? Guys, this is not happening at all. 
And here are the consequences of this guy's adventures. It looks like he finally returned to his ex-girlfriend, but lipstick marks were found on his collar. Well, apparently we didn't help him. Everything that happens in this game is very absurd, and I like it. I've killed zombies and dragons in games a million times before, but this is my first time popping pimples and helping people poop. This is exactly why I love this game. I think it's weird to want to play a game where you have to squeeze pimples. Although, you can understand, you're a bubble. You've never had acne. This guy has a lot of worms between his teeth. Well, be that as it may, we still need to help him get them. I still don't understand what you need to eat so that you have a whole colony of damn worms in your mouth. I think if we find out what we need to eat for such a result, we will become even more disgusted. Okay, let's see what we need to do next. Fix this guy's car? Finally, something that isn't disgusting. Have a nice journey, my friend. I hope our repair was of high quality and your brakes won't fail at full speed. Unfortunately, we are not auto mechanics and cannot guarantee this. Wow, this guy has little worms in his eyes. Usually this happens when you watch a video on the Cartoons Play channel. My friends told me about this. Guy poops rainbow poop? Looks like he ate a lot of Skittles or M&Ms. Actually, it's probably funny to poop a rainbow. She probably doesn't even smell like poop. Oh my god, are you really thinking about what that poop might smell like right now? I think it's time for you to stop watching Pomni play this, otherwise you will soon start enjoying this game as much as she and Bubble do. Stop judging me for this, Zubal. Yes, I like these types of games, but there's nothing wrong with that. Now, for example, we will act as an obstetrician for this poor cat who cannot give birth to kittens. You will probably be very surprised to learn that cats never needed obstetricians. They always gave birth on their own and without unnecessary help. Just because of censorship, the creators of this game could not depict a person here. This is good because in this case, we also would not be able to post a video of this game on YouTube. Okay, what's next? The girl with the stinky nose? Wow, looks like this girl doesn't know how to blow her nose. I hope we don't have to put the entire contents of her nose into her mouth this time, like we did in previous levels. Her nose hair is several times longer than her eyelashes. I wonder if those hairs are sticking out of her nose like some old hillbilly. It seems to me that you shouldn't put all your snot and boogers directly on your lip like this. It might stick and get into your mouth. Ugh, I said that, and I wanted to puke. Okay, we've sorted out this lady's nose. And now we need, um, I don't even understand what this is. Is this a hairy turd? Wait, she had hairy poop on her face and we need to get the hair off of it? No, Zubal. This is a big mole. It happens that hair grows from moles, and people sometimes pluck them out to get rid of hair follicles, so that the hair on moles doesn't grow so quickly. This is very dangerous. She may accidentally damage it, and since the skin that makes up the mole has no way to regenerate, it can cause bleeding, which is deadly. Wow, I didn't even know this was possible. Okay, now I will never touch my moles in my life. By the way, don't you think that when we play this, it's like we're learning medicine? I learned a few new medical things while playing this nonsense. See, Jax? I told you it was a cool game, and you all started calling me names because I chose this game. The fact that it gave us some new knowledge does not change the fact that this game is mega vile, and I still have absolutely no desire to look at it, but I have to. For some reason... I completely agree with her. By the way, we haven't been able to finish this level for a minute. Is it really that difficult to pluck out these three hairs for her? You can't even imagine how much. These tweezers are always spinning like crazy, and don't want to grab the hair normally. This is starting to annoy me. Okay, just a little left. I hope this girl will be happy that her mole will remain bald. True, this giant mole yes. will still remain. I think she should go to the doctor, remove it. Um, picking this guy's nose? This is very, very strange. I don't understand why this gives me pleasure. Don't you think it's strange that there are too many foreign objects in his nose? What's even weirder is that this cotton swab only has cotton on one of its ends. Who makes such weird cotton buds anyway? No, guys. The weirdest thing is that we have to put all these objects in his mouth. Ugh, this guy is very nasty. Okay, we kind of helped this guy. What awaits us now? Um, the cat who ate the mouse? And what should we do with it? Oh, free the mouse? No, the logic of this game will not allow her to get out just like that. He'll probably puke on her. Oh, okay, no. I was right. Did this idiot drop his phone in the toilet with poop? How can you be so inattentive? The situations in this game are always kind of fantastic. 
Ugh, he also touched his own poop with his hand. I don't think this phone was worth it. Would you seriously be willing to drown your phone if you just dropped it in the toilet? What if it was an iPhone 15 Pro Max? Would you say, okay, Mr. Toilet, take my phone, I don't need it anymore? No, I wouldn't just drop my phone in the toilet. I'm not as hands-on as he is. As a last resort, I would get him with my tongue, hee hee hee. Ew, Bubble, you're even more disgusting than this game, I'm sure. Damn, I just realized I haven't seen any more disgusting games than this one. No, buddy. <sighs> the most disgusting game I ever played is Scorn. Scorn is a game set in a dark, twisted, and truly disgusting world. The game features a unique aesthetic and atmosphere, with eerie and grotesque imagery depicting a bleak and apocalyptic future. You crazy? I'm 32 years old. What children's games? Maybe I should actually go to the sandbox and stack cubes with pyramids there? I'll play anything, at least in Postal 2. Posted 2? This is the first time I've heard about this game. What should you do with it? And why did the bubble focus on her? Is it more disgusting than all the other games? Playing Postal 2 is definitely an experience. This game has no filter and is as twisted as it gets. The game is filled with dark, violent, and obscene humor. You play as a deranged dude who goes around killing people and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. It's like a simulation of madness and a virtual playground for your darkest urges. If you want to play as a mentally ill murderer and just blow off steam and do crazy things, this is the game for you. One time when I was playing Postal 2, I just finished beating up the local police chief and was making my escape when I realized I needed to take a piss from all the energy drinks I drank. So I went to a public bathroom in the middle of the square, pulled my pants down and started pissing. But as I'm finishing up, a guy walking by outside looks in through the window and makes a disgusted face. I started cracking up and couldn't help the piss shooting out of me as it was too funny. Damn, that's hella funny, haha. Huh? But yeah, that's definitely the kind of absurd and crazy stuff you can experience in Postal 2. It can be downright disgusting and twisted, but at the same time, it's also so utterly ridiculous and hilarious. It's a game that really pushes the boundaries of what is acceptable and conventional, and it certainly doesn't hold back when it comes to shocking and offensive behavior. That's true. It pushes the limits and doesn't hold back when it comes to all kinds of offensive and unacceptable behavior. That's why it's such a great game to play if you want to just let loose and do whatever you want without really caring about the consequences. It's a perfect game for people who want to be as crazy and outrageous as they can be without having to worry about any taboos or restrictions. Your stories about these idiotic games only discouraged me from trying to play them. Maybe we should go back to our horror games and Roblox, don't you think? Let's finish this game first. We need to brush this guy's teeth. It seems to me that he doesn't take care of his oral health at all. Wait, does he have worms living in his mouth? This guy is truly disgusting. What did you have to do with that mouth to get worms between your teeth? Maybe he really eats worms? Damn, the more I try to guess the reason for the worms in his mouth, the more disgusted I feel. Okay, we've almost got his mouth clean. It takes too long, I think. Hooray, today we will play my favorite games. Just look at these centipedes. They are so beautiful. After them, some strange yellow liquid remains in this guy's head. God, why is this so disgusting? Actually, scolopendrists do not know how to gnaw their way through. They usually live in ready-made burrows. Ugh, oh, oh my god, this is disgusting. I think I'm going to be sick soon. Just look how happy this guy is. I think we did a great job for him. This game is made for doing good things. It seems to me that this game was created to cause a gag reflex in everyone who plays it. Okay, now we need to help get the arrow out of this guy's ass. How did she even get there? It seems to me that together with the arrow, we will now get another surprise from there. I wouldn't really like to do this. I don't think it's poop. Maybe the arrow has just been there too long and it's pus or something like that. Hooray! This guy's ass is free! Good luck, buddy! Don't walk where the skeletons walk anymore! Do you think he really got shot by a Minecraft skeleton? I think it was a little different. Okay, it doesn't matter now. This guy is very afraid of crabs and we need to help him get rid of it. Oh, oh my god. How did he manage to cling so deeply to this guy? Does he have sharpened claws? It's quite difficult to get his claw out of his leg. Well, we did it. Great. Ha, look. This guy broke his head with a bat. Oh, poor kitten. Let's quickly see what happened to him. I hope we can help him and he will stop being so sad. Um... He's got fleas in his head. Perhaps this kitten walked with street cats, and they infected him with this. You damn, they are so small. Why did the creators of this game make the sound so disgusting? This sound alone makes me feel uneasy. 
It seems to me that there is nothing vile in this sound. It sounds like you're squeezing very thin slime. It's fun, isn't it? It seems to me that when you're picking around a cat's head, the last thing you think about is slime. Great, we helped this kitten. God, just look how cute he is. He smiles so cool. He is probably very grateful to us. Oh no, this guy got shot. Now we need to get that bullet. Phew, that yellow liquid again. Was it a poisoned bullet or pus? I guess I don't even want to know what it really was. Great, this guy is saved. Well, now he has to recover in the hospital and I think this beautiful nurse will help him. Oh my god, this guy is choking! Urgently give him artificial respiration! Clear his airways! Kane, do you really care that much about this guy? Or do you just want to seem interested? To be honest, I don't care about him at all. If in reality it took us so long to save a suffocating person, he would have died a long time ago. What is this, chewing gum? Damn, how dumb do you have to be to swallow a whole piece of gum? It can mess up your intestines and lead to death. I completely agree with you. Guys, never even think about swallowing gum. This can lead to irreversible consequences. Yes, for example, you will blow a huge bubble when you poop. Okay, what do we have next? Should I give this guy an injection? It seems to me that the injections are done a little differently. At a minimum, no doctor gives you a hundred injections all over your butt. Okay, we did it. Looks like this is the guy we pulled the bullet from. He is still under the care of this beautiful nurse. Okay, what do we have next? Um, does this guy need help eating pizza? Can he handle it himself? I think this guy definitely doesn't need our help. Wait, what? Why is this slice of pizza so small? I don't understand what's going on here. Maybe this guy has turned into a giant. Or on the contrary, simply reduced this piece of pizza to an unusually small size? Okay. We'll never know for sure. I would love to eat pizza right now. I think this pizza is very tasty. Looks like pepperoni. Can you really think about food when you hear these sounds? After every time we play this game, I have no appetite for about two hours. Just look how happy this guy is. He looks like he hasn't eaten pizza in a week. Well, let's do the next mm. task. Um, does this matchbox have any problems? Should we just light a match? It seems to me that anyone can handle this task, even a monkey. Well, I hope there won't be any more stupid tasks like this. I'm even ready to get worms and all sorts of other nasty things, but this task was really stupid. Ooh, now we're going to pick our ears. This is my favorite task. How did this guy manage to get cockroaches into his ears? Did he sleep in the barn? Hell no. I can't look at this anymore. It seems to me as if we are in some kind of terrible dream where we are visited by idiots who put insects into their bodies. I don't think pushing the stick that deep is a good idea. It seems to me that you can stuff these cockroaches directly into his brain, but getting them out of there will be much more difficult. This guy will definitely hear better now. Wait, do you hear that sound? It seems to me that the charging cable should not make such sounds. Yes, it sounds like it's not a cable, but a hose completely filled with some nasty thing. It seems to me that the creators of this game just love this nasty sound. Pomni, is this really such a difficult task? I think you're taking too long to complete it. You might want to grab this connector so that it doesn't turn. This task really looks easy, but in fact, it is simply unrealistic. This cable is constantly spinning around and does not listen to you. I will do this as carefully as possible. Great, you did it. Yay! Finally, I won't hear this disgusting sound. At one point, I thought I was going to be sick. Hooray! Now we will milk this cow. I just love milk and all sorts of dairy things like cheese or ice cream. Or even ice cream topped with processed cheese. Would you really eat ice cream with cheese? Sometimes it seems to me that you are the most vile character on the planet that I know. Ice cream with cheese? Sounds like a burger with jam or pizza with pineapple? Wait, this really exists? Um, maybe ice cream and cheese can go together too? I think if we continue to discuss this disgusting food while we play this equally disgusting game, mm. I will lose my appetite for life. Can we stop doing this? Stop being such a sissy, Kingler. Let's better help this guy poop. By the way, his poop is also rainbow for some reason. The guys in these games are definitely eating something weird. We've already discussed enough disgusting food that I don't even want to try to guess what he ate for this. Um... Result? Again, the role of an obstetrician, but for a dog? It seems to me that the situation here is similar to that of the cats from the previous video. These animals do not need obstetricians, they must cope on their own. Um, Pomni? It seems to me that you are trying to extract it in a slightly wrong way. Maybe you can try to take it out. Um, let's say, 
from under the tail? I think this is a great idea, Regatta. I just wanted him to be born into this world in a very epic way. Well, welcome to this world, my friend. I hope you weren't too shaken up there. Whoa, why did it fly into this guy's face? Oh, no. Hello, beautiful. How are you doing? I wonder what she needs help with there. I hope she's dressed, otherwise we won't be able to put this on YouTube. I think Jax is starting to like this game already. Wait, I don't understand at all what is shown here and what needs to be done here. It's too early for you boys to understand what it is. Just extend these ribbons to those circles. I think you might have a little problem with the second ribbon. It seems to me that some kind of bug has occurred and we should re-enter this game. This ribbon is just stuck somewhere behind the scenes and I don't know how to get it out of here. This looks quite strange. It's as if some giant squid grabbed onto something during a hurricane and the wind blew it away and it fluffed up like a sail. Why did they still leave that disgusting sound here? Whatever is on the screen right now definitely can't make those nasty sounds. It sounds like you poured ketchup on a huge plate of pasta and stirred it all up. Maybe we can still free this thing? I think she got caught on some invisible thing unknown to us. Maybe if we just pull a little harder, we can get her out of there. I think the harness is just stuck in her armpit and she can't just lift her arm. I don't see any other logical explanation. Armpit? What does the armpit have to do with it? Do you understand what is drawn here? Maybe you can finally explain to us what this is. We really don't understand. Boys, it seems to me that this is a little not for you. You should become a little more mature to understand what is drawn here. Okay, okay, we re-entered the game. Now this task should be a little easier for us. I think this was the most difficult task for today. Cool, we did it! But I still didn't understand what we were doing all this time. Look, for some reason she's happy. It seems to me that there is some kind of universal women's secret that they don't want to tell. Don't worry, someday you will definitely find out about this, but now let's help kill this zombie. He looks pretty angry. Um, is his head made of a balloon? Why did it burst from such a small touch? I don't know, but I can see that this guy is very happy. Okay, let's see what task we will complete last for today. Oh my god, she has lice. It's just disgusting. Does she live in the forest? Thank you for watching this video to the end, friends. I hope you enjoyed this game. If so, please give it a like so we can continue to go through it. I also remind you that we read all your comments and try to play your favorite games. All you need to do is write the name of your favorite game in the comments. Also, if you are not subscribed to the channel, click on the subscribe button under this video and turn on all notifications so as not to miss a video with your favorite game. See you soon, friends. Bye-bye, everyone.